CVA's Acura Series, Vergara Barrels for guaranteed accuracy, Nitride for guaranteed rust proofing, and a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. All right, welcome back. And this week's picture of the week is being brought to you by Flowers Garden Center. I understand they're about out, so if you got anything, you better, <laughs> you better get on the ball. Get on down there and get, get them on while down they there because they're fixing to close shop. Now, yeah, they'll man. be sharpening knives for uh, August this well, year. Well, around so. July fourth, they take and make a little trip and about Memorial Day, they'll make a little trip and all that, and then they're then they're back to deer deer processing. <laughs> hey. This is one I'm very, very proud of. This is my granddaughter, Shelby Brown. And Shelby, downtown Shelby Brown, went to Georgia. You know, not the devil, but Shelby went down <laughs> to Georgia. And uh, she was looking for a hog to kill, and she got one. And this one here weighed 148 pounds, I believe. Uh, she shot it out of the stand that I was hunting. So <laughs> <laughs> that should tell you, Pop's back at the, <laughs> going to bed. But uh, so proud of her. Uh, Shelby, uh, 20 years old, killing hogs left and right, putting bacon out on the table. And with her, her friend, this is Ashley Penton. This is Brian Penton's lovely daughter, Ashley. She's a great hunter in her own right. Uh, she took this 178-pound mm. hog in the same area that Shelby took her. So this place is just full of hogs. It's a lot of pork chops That's a right lot there. of pork chops, <laughs> a lot of pork, you know, I'm telling you. Uh, but Ashley just does such a great job. She's a she's an avid, avid hunter. So is Shelby. We just love them both. Girls, keep it up and keep sending those pictures to us. We love you, love you, love you. All right? All right, right here, this is 15-year-old Gage Vestola, and Gage lives in Watertown, Tennessee. And uh, recently they took a trip, he and his brother and his dad, to Lake Okeechobee, no. uh, which is one of my dad's favorite places yeah. to go. Uh, but this is Gage with a nine pound, four ounce largemouth that he caught down there on that trip. So once they congratulate, that is a fatty. That's a fatty. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> our next picture here, this is his brother, Tyler Vistola. And this is an eight pound, seven ounce bass that was caught on that same trip. So looks like they had a good time and it was it was worth the trip down to Okeechobee. They had a lot of fatties down there. They did. <laughs> I tell you, that's if you want to catch a bunch of big fish, that's a good place to do you it. You can send your pictures to us here at Southern Woods and Waters, 474 James Robinson Parkway, Nashville, Tennessee, 37219. Better yet, just Facebook us at Southern Woods and Waters and we'll get them on here really, really fast. That's how most people are sending them to us yeah. and we appreciate it. Along with the picture, though, please send us uh, the date, the uh, the names of the folks yeah. that are involved, and and kind of how it happened. You know, yeah, you give know, us a little story with it. Little story <laughs> with it. Uh, but we appreciate any pictures that we get, so send them all. Got some great pictures for you next week, brother. That's I'm it looking forward to. It is fishing season. It is, and we're starting to get a bunch of pictures starting, rolling in. And, so. and there's going to be a seven-year-old that's going to come on next week in the pictures. Is going to show you how to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. It's going to be awesome. So we appreciate. Hey, we got to finish. Up a, a big turkey hunt. We do. We got one coming in. If we can just get him to come now, through these you know, cattle. I'm not opposed to eating beef either. <laughs> <laughs> we was. I was about ready to eat He's some beef after this, beef. but but uh, <laughs> now we'll we'll see what happens here and see if we can't get this bird well, to come around these cattle. With Brandon. Well, right now we've got the attention of these cattle. So if we can just keep their attention just a little bit longer that maybe this bird can ease in around behind them, we might be able to make this happen. I'm <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, boys. <laughs> yes, sir. How you do it? Number four. Justin's tagged out, baby. Now you know what? Hey. Guess whose turn it is to run the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. <laughs> this is the setup that we were using this morning. We've been set up right underneath this umbrella in the rain against this fence. And these cattle came in here and they messed our birds up. And uh, luckily we were able to call this bird back down and he come around behind them cows. We had to wait till he came out and got clear and just made a good shot, man. We got several more birds, so we're fixing to go get after another one. Now let's go get this one. That was a good way to end the season and and uh, and wrap it up. It was just is a great. You didn't year. need a cameraman the other afternoon for you. No, we actually ended up getting on three or four more different birds, and it just we just never got it together. We had one that uh, one got locked up because of cattle again. We had a couple that would get hung up on fences, you know, it, and it was just raining, and raining, and raining, and raining all day. So everywhere we went, it was just pouring down rain. Uh, we just carried that little umbrella everywhere we went, you know. But we had a we had a great rest of the day. We just never were able to get another another bird in front of us to now this to shoot wasn't at. his first bird, was it? No, this was his fourth bird fourth of the year bird of, of the year. year. So uh, that that tagged him out. He he's a, a great turkey hunter in his own right. He's a, a run and gun type hunter, uh, and you know I'm more of a relaxed kind of. I know where they're gonna go kind of. So you know, let's hunt together. We have a good time. Yeah, yeah. You I'm usually them. trying to outthink them while. So uh, it's kind of neat when we hunt together because we we put our our two different styles together and have a good time doing it. So that's awesome. All right, we got to do our product of the week. This week's product of the week is being brought to you by Kenny Fork Outdoors. Let me tell you something. They got lots of things going on over there. Silver Point, Tennessee, over there to Edgar Evans' exit, or you can go right down here to Donaldson Shopping Center 
and visit Ryan over there at Candy Fork Outdoors. He'll set you up, and this is the time of it's year to do it. It's time to do it right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. It is. What you got, Bill? Uh, uh, what I've got here tonight, this is, this is a... Uh, a product that we actually used to film with out whenever we're out running these videos and things. And this is from a company, it's called Upteka. The the company is Upteka and this is their, their X grip. What we use this for is we you know, we do a lot of filming with mm -hmm. the DSLR R style cameras and you can mount your camera right here in this bracket, mount your mic or whatever other accessory you want up here. And you can use this to do ground sweeps with your camera. You can use it as a shoulder mount. You can use it to set it on a table mount. There's just a lot of things you can do with it, but one of the biggest things is being able to hold it a lot more steady. You know, whenever you're having a freehand like I was that day with Todd That's Cone important. on that turkey hunt. That's important. Uh, so it's a great product. It's very lightweight. It's easy to throw in the pack with the with your camera. So those of you that like to get out and do a little filming or uh, even just photography, something phones. like that. That's right. Th this is a great product to have. And what's and, the name uh, of it again? It's, this is from the company Opteca, Opteca which you can go to opteca.com, by the way, and find this product. And they make a lot of other camera accessories as well. And this particular one here is called the X-Grip. That's an awesome So deal. it is. It's, it's a really good product, and, and we've enjoyed using it. So. Yes, sir. And you need to have stable video. It, it does. <laughs> it just it makes such a difference, especially when, you know, like I say, with when I was with Todd that day, we had walked three or 400 yards, and we're standing there trying to freehand. You need all the help you can you get. You need so, all the help you can yeah, get. Yeah, and that really does make a big difference. All right. That's... Uh, Take another break. When we come back, we're going to open up our phone lines That's here right. at 737-7767. Be right back with more Southern Woods and Waters.